Hi, I'm Kevin Lane from Fermentis, and today I'm going to talk to you about our, our new Saf Cider, relatively new Saf Cider portfolio. Uh, given that the apple harvest is coming up soon, and uh, I think a lot of home brewers will be planning to make hard ciders, I think it's a good time for me to just kind of run through the comparative of these four strains, how they're different from each other, what you can expect from, from each of these in terms of how they really express the apples in different ways. So starting with the original Saf Cider, uh, if you have been making cider for three or four years, three or four years ago we had one strain called Saf Cider. There were no alpha numerical names after that, it was just Saf Cider. Uh, that actually became Saf Cider AB1. Um, the AB stands for Apple Balanced. So it really is the most balanced in terms of how the yeast interacts with the apples. So it's not going to be too expressive in sweetness, in mouthfeel, in fruitiness, in crispness. It's going to just be really um, a well-balanced, uh, not too expressive yeast strain in your cider. So next is the Saf Cider AC4. Uh, the AC stands for Apple Crisp. So this is really going to, in a comparative apple juice, produce a more crisp flavor of the apples. Uh, it's not going to be make, creating too much um, jam-like flavors. Um, it's not going to be producing any like cooked fruit flavors. Just really a crisp, um, smooth, not, I don't want to say sharp, but kind of in that kind of realm where it's going to be really crisp on the palate. Uh, still not expressing too much in terms of ester profile, uh, but really producing a nice cider in the end that's nice and crisp. Saf Cider AS2 is a third uh, strain in our cider portfolio. Uh, the AS stands for apple sweet. Uh, so with, with this strain we found that in an apple media for the fermentation it's going to produce more of those jam like cooked fruit flavors. Less on the crisp side. The sweetness really isn't coming from residual sugar so much as it is on the, the flavor profile and the mouthfeel of the cider in the end. Uh, so it's not sweetness in terms of residual sugar being present, it's more the fullness of the body of the cider and the, to some extent, a little bit of ester profile that's going to give it a little bit more of that fruity sweet character. Lastly, we have Saf Cider TF6. This TF stands for Tutti Fruity. Um, really, this is a very expressive yeast strain uh, when used correctly. It produces a lot of ester profile, a lot of intensity in flavor and in aroma. So if you're really looking to add to the apple flavor, not highlight the apple flavor, if you're looking to add to the apple flavor, this strain is a great option. It will really push out the esters. It will really create a, a fullness of fruit flavor of uh, combinations of different fruits in, in that cider itself. Uh, my one warning would be to maybe ferment with that strain a little bit cooler than the others. Try to slow it down a little bit because it can get very aggressive in fermentation and if it does then there could be potentials for off flavor downstream. So the Saf Cider portfolio when we selected it uh, was actually selected in more or less a French style cider. Uh, so in the French style cider they usually ferment cooler, slower, and then do end up stopping fermentation before it's really complete. Uh, so they target a specific gravity that they end at. Uh, and they're doing it very slow and cold so that they can really control that point. When they reach it, they can stop it at that point and it's not that they miss it or they overshoot. Um, so it is a different cider process than I think I'm used to myself. Uh, I think most Americans are used to where you really go for dryness and you're going for a fast fermentation. These were selected in a much slower fermentation um, and with purposely leaving residual sugar. Not to say that you have to do that, of course. Uh, it's just how it was selected. I think that that does translate to American cider for the most part. Um, just that it might be slightly different uh, in the full perception, but you wouldn't know that unless you did a cold and a slow versus a hot and fast fermentation uh, like we do in America. So we're really excited to have the whole Saf Cider portfolio out there for all of the home cider makers, whether you're fresh pressing the juice yourself uh, or buying the store-bought concentrate or juice. Uh, it will really give you the option to choose whichever flavor or characteristic you're trying to highlight in your ciders. Uh, so happy harvest to all of you.